A'udhu Billah, Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is ZI Tech. So, um, in this video, in today's video, we're going to talk about computer classification, the different types of computers. In the previous video, we talked about uh, hardware, we talked about software, different types of software, uh, storage units in a computer, and so on and so forth. But in today's video, we're going to talk about um, computer classification, the types of computers that we have based on the sizes and their power or their capabilities. So we have different types of computers. We have personal computer, we have workstation, we have mini computer, we have uh, mainframe computers, we have super computers. So let's start with the first. We have a personal computer. What is a personal computer? What is a personal com computer uh, called PC in a short form? So a personal computer is a small computer. It is small in size and it is single user computer. It is single user. It supports only one user and it is based on a microprocessor. It is based on a microprocessor. In addition to the microprocessor, a personal computer has a keyboard for entering data. So use your keyboard to enter data into the computer. And it also has a monitor for displaying information. It also has a monitor for displaying information after it has been processed. So it also has a storage device for saving data. It also has a storage device for saving data. That's a personal computer in a nutshell. Now let's talk about a workstation. What is a workstation? A workstation is a powerful, it is powerful, and a single user computer. It is also a single user computer. That means it supports one user. A workstation is like a personal computer. A workstation is like a personal computer in terms of what? In terms of uh, its support, it has a uh, it uses a microprocessor, it is based on a microprocessor, and it's also single user. So, but it has a more powerful microprocessor and a higher quality monitor than a personal computer. A workstation has, has a more powerful microprocessor. The microprocessor in a workstation is more powerful than the microprocessor in a personal computer. And it has a, a workstation has a higher quality monitor than a personal computer. So that is a workstation in a nutshell. Now let's talk about the next type of computer, which is a mini computer. What is a mini computer? A mini computer is a multi-user computer. That means it supports more than one user. So it is capable of supporting from 10 to hundreds of users simultaneously. It is capable of supporting from 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 users up to hundreds of users simultaneously. In other words, at the same time. You can see that it is very powerful. It is more powerful than uh, a workstation and it is more powerful than a uh, personal computer. Now, let's talk about a mainframe computer. What is a mainframe computer? A mainframe computer is a powerful multi-user computer capable of supporting many hundreds or thousands of users simultaneously. It is powerful and it is also multi-user computer, but it is capable of supporting many hundreds, many hundreds, not 10 to 100, many hundreds, 100, 200, 300, 400, to thousands of users not 1,000, thousands of users simultaneously. In other words, at the same time. That is mainframe computer. We can see that mainframe here is more powerful than mini computer, and at the same time, more powerful than workstation and a personal computer. Now, what is a supercomputer? A supercomputer super is an extremely fast computer that can perform hundreds of, in, hundreds of millions of instructions per second. It is extremely fast, extremely fast, um, and can perform hundreds of millions of instructions per second. 
it can perform hundreds of millions of instructions per second so you can see that it is the most powerful among them all so these are the types of computers that we have so we're going to stop here and then go to the um comparing these types of computers um based on their price based on their processing speed based on their storage capacity based on um which one is more powerful than which one uh, we're going to uh, compare them based on the based on whether this one is single user or that one is multi-user uh, we're going to classify them based on um uh so we're going to classify them based on the uh comp based on the computer size and uh based on the the company's size so that is it compare between the previous types of computers based on price processor speed storage uh, capacity whether this one is more powerful than that whether this one is single user or that one is multi-user multi -user. uh this uh, computer is very bigger than this one or these companies the companies of the the companies that manufacture these computers uh manufactures computers that are more bigger than uh the computers that that uh, uh company manufactures and so on and so forth so now let's talk about a laptop computer what is a laptop computer a laptop computer is a portable computer portable meaning what it is mobile you can take it from one place to another it is a portable computer meaning you can take it from one place to another travel from one state to another from one country to another a personal computer can be easily carried and used in a variety of locations a personal computer can be carried can be easily carried you can easily carry it and use it in a variety of locations in different locations and it's run the same software and applications as um, a personal computer a workstation and so on and so forth so that is a laptop computer in a nutshell now let's talk about another type of a computer which is netbook computer so what is a netbook computer a netbook computer is a type of laptop it is a laptop meaning a laptop is a type of a computer that you can place on your lap so this netbook computer is a type of a laptop meaning a computer that can um that you can please that you can put on top of your lap um, but it is designed to be even more portable it is designed to be even more portable than a laptop or other types of computers it is cheaper it is cheaper in price lower in price and it is less powerful than laptops laptops or desktops it is less powerful it has less capability than or less capacity and capability than a laptop and desktop so you can see then they are generally less powerful than other types of computers as, as i just said uh, but they provide enough power for email and internet access which is where the name netbook comes from so the name its name netbook comes from uh, using it for internet and email so you can see that it is specifically made for for the internet for made for networking now let's talk, let's talk about another type uh, another types of computer uh, which is mobile devices mobile devices so a mobile device is basically any handheld computer is any handheld computer computer that you can that can fit within your palm within your hand so that is what we call a handheld computer it is designed to be extremely power portable it is designed to be extremely portable you can easily put it inside your pocket your trouser pocket and so on and so forth it is very small so some mobile devices are more powerful are more powerful than one another some mobile devices are more powerful than one another so we have 
tablet computers we have ebook readers we, ha we also have smartphones so all these are types of mobile devices mobile devices meaning you can carry them from one place to another easily now let's talk about the first one which is a tablet computer what is a tablet computer so a tablet computer is designed to be portable as, I, as we mentioned meaning carry you can carry it from one place to another the most obvious difference is that tablet computers don't have keyboards or touchpads so a, a tablet doesn't have a keyboard uh, it doesn't have a physical keyboard for typing rather it has a virtual keyboard and it also don't have a touchpad like a laptop a laptop in a laptop you have a touchpad that you that you use to navigate um through the laptop from one place to another but uh, a, a tablet doesn't have that it has a virtual uh, a virtual keyboard and a touch screen so it is best used for tasks like web browsing watching videos reading ebooks mostly for reading and playing games so that's a tablet also in a nutshell now more explanation on a tablet so the most obvious difference is that tablet computers don't have keyboards or touchpads instead the entire screen is touch sensitive so the entire screen of a of a tablet is touch sensitive whenever you touch it then you can be able to press to navigate through the through the tablet so allowing to tap on a virtual keyboard and use your finger as a mouse pointer so you use your finger as a mouse pointer instead of a physical mouse a tablet computers are mostly designed for consuming media and they are optimized for tasks like web browsing watching videos reading ebooks and playing games as we already mentioned earlier so that's a tablet now let's talk about smartphones a smartphone is a powerful mobile phone is a powerful it is powerful and it's also mobile it is designed to run a variety of applications in addition to phone service it is designed to run a variety different types of applications in addition to phone service meaning making for making for calling your friends and families so um compare compare it with a tablet compare a smartphone with a tablet um so um we now know that um, um, the tablet is less, mostly the tablet is less uh, powerful than uh, a smartphone. A smartphone is more powerful most of the time in terms of the internet access. It also depends on the type of the smartphone you're using. So that's it. Um, internet access is an important feature of smartphones. Internet feature um, is an important feature of uh, smartphones most of the smartphones that we have support 4g which means you can browse more faster while most of the tablets the ones i know um the the support 3g internet access uh they, therefore they are more they're less faster in terms of uh, internet speed than um smartphones so smartphones are more faster in, in terms of uh, internet speed mostly uh than uh than tablets so we're gonna stop here uh, inshallah and um, in the next video we are going to talk about data information and knowledge we're going to talk about what is a data what is data what is information and what is knowledge though we might have explained each um, in the first video but we're going to delve more deeper and understand all these three concepts more and more um, uh, more deeper so we're gonna stop here if you haven't subscribed to this channel take a minute it won't take you up to a minute to subscribe like the previous videos share comment um, uh, share this video with anyone that you think will benefit from these and uh, meet me in the next video Salam.